I'm Abby. This is Nikki. And this is Paluche and Kokomochi. We've been living on the wide open road for the past four and a half years. This is what we call home. Subscribe to our channel for weekly videos that give you a peek into the adventurous world of nomadic living. After a week of exploring the incredible Mount Rainier, I spent a few days in the city editing the videos you see here. Our nomadic life is not a road trip with a grand adventure every day. We're not on vacation. This is our full-time life. And some days are more about work and chores than fun outings and parks. After four and a half years on the road, we're fine-tuning the balance of work and play. They say, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. So we call it work, but we truly enjoy these moments. Cooking, editing, painting, drawing, opening ourselves up to the limitless opportunities that may come from following our soul's passions. By choosing to do what lights us up, we're catapulted into an unknown entrepreneurial territory. And what is adventure but exploring the unknown? I guess every day is an adventure after all. So pretty. <laughs> oh, God, how did that feel? I need to wash my hair. I might be here for a while. <laughs> it felt so good. The moss, I just, I don't know what it is. I am so obsessed. It's the whole wall is moss. Look at that. It's all freaking out. Oh, my God. Just stumbling across a waterfall on a random dirt road. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen like a moth wall waterfall. Now you have. You love it? I, I love it so much. I can't leave. I might meditate on that rock for a little bit. It may seem like we hike a lot of trails, because we do. Being outdoors is an integral part of nomadic life. Our houses may be tiny, but our yards are enormous and ever-changing. When your backyard is new and different nearly every day, you'd be remiss not to get outside and explore it. We never regret taking the trail. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, baby? Wow. Wow. This is so amazing. I'm just enjoying watching the doggies. Oh, Bear would have loved it here. He's always with you. Yeah. I love it. What the heck? Look at this. What? This isn't even marked on the trail. And there's a freaking oven! I can make a pizza! <laughs> we came upon some ruins. If I just build these up a little bit, put a little Oh yeah! Rock. That's a pizza oven for sure. Stuck on the rock? Alright, let's go hike back at the tools. <laughs> Damn, this is so... I wonder... Wow, I wonder what this was. 
A lodge, maybe? A lodge? Oh, for the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Wow. You never know what you're gonna find, eh? Oh my god. <laughs> you smell my shit? Literally. <laughs> oh my god. That's the first. Ew. I'm, just like, I'm not even opening that. That's okay. I'll just I'll go right around the car. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, the woods are good. Like <laughs> I thought there was going to be an outhouse, but on the way up, I was joking. Oh yeah, watch it just be like a hole in the ground. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Come into Leavenworth. Ow, and I hit my toe. She's hilarious. Y'all, oh. don't beat me up in the comments, all right? <laughs> there is this little like, forest town in Washington near this hike that we're doing called Leavenworth and it's German but Bavarian inspired like we had to come it's so cute look, look at this it. like you're literally transported you don't even feel like you're in the states you feel like you could be in Germany this is so cute You would look cute in those. Show them. Boom. Lock them. And those. Oh my god. All right, we gotta get out of here. Oh, she found them. <laughs> she ready to don her Bavarian outfit for her. <laughs> I would totally, I mean, I would love to wear suspenders with this outfit. That'd be dope. What do you think? Super guy, like, <laughs> cancel me, let's go. <laughs> Look at Louie. You have to slide down it. Good job, babe. Just another day exploring another backyard. What day is it? Summer? We lose track of time immersed in the sweet sensations of Mother Nature. An old folk saying goes, time waits for no one, so we won't wait either. Now is the perfect time, and we're grateful for this moment. <laughs> That's fun. That is fun. Lovely surprises at our camp spot. Uh, I just love camping near bodies of water. Oh. I'm gonna meditate down here. Oh, the sound of the river, it's so soothing. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, look at the party. See? Yeah. Hey, you doing, buddy? You love it? He's like, yeah, I love it, so I don't put it in the water. <laughs> You're so cute. Y'all ready to do this? And this is why you get up at 4.30 to do a, well, <laughs> we tried. <laughs> this is how many people are here at 5 a.m. This is why you try to get up early and do a hike before everyone shows up, but this is a very popular hike, so. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Do you see it? A face. Two eyes. A nose. Looks like Squidward's nose. And a mustache? <laughs> and a mustache. Oh, I didn't notice the mustache. It looks like his lips up a little bit like this. <laughs> Buddha once said, if you wish to know the divine, feel the wind on your face, 
and the warm sun on your hand. Walking on the trail, feeling the rocks under our feet, smelling the heaty scent of pine, squinting at glints of sunlight over the bright blue water, ice cold to touch, while our warm hearts beat in rhythm with the beat of the universe begging our human nature to recognize herself in Mother Nature. Oh, here, right here, leave me! Oh, God. I just want to be here with the hammock. Leave me here. Oh my God. This is so cute. It's so clear. Oh my Lord, I'm going to hammock and never leave. Nature is not a place to visit. It is home. We are about to come out to a view of Colchuck Lake. Are y'all ready for this? So ready. Ah! <laughs> We're so excited. Parade. Not quite. Like, please? Not quite. Wow. This is a different blue, that's for sure. <laughs> I suppose we nomads, we're drawn to this life because we're seekers. We wish to know the depths of the divine in nature and within ourselves. So we seek a life free of constraints and full of inspiration a life on the road less traveled. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta psych myself up. I think the air is colder than the water. One! Oh! <laughs> 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 Her little feet. We are literally off for a while. We'll not be seeing them for, I don't know, a couple months. So we've been caravanning together for quite some time. So it's always weird having to leave, but you know, it's always see you down the road. So I'm gonna leave them a little note, a little last note. And home, I miss them. Yeah, she probably gonna need this art house to her side. May the path ahead be winding, soulful, adventurous, and inspirational. For it is not the destination we seek, but the journey.
like look, look like Toad for real. You huh? do look like Toad. It's cute. It's I need to find body water to wash my hair. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smart choice. Yeah. Well, this is a first. <laughs> These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew!